It's time to dust off your nuts. The X top tier deck is back. Why? Not through any new support, just because we have decided to play them again. We are trying out noble nuts. I love me nuts. It's time to whip them back out again. Let's do it. <sighs> Gia, what the heck did you send me? You comparing me to a freaking chihuahua? <laughs> there can only be one winner, and you're looking at it. Let's go. Boom. Why are we playing this deck? Well, it used to be an X top tier deck, and there's a lot of dust on our nuts. I know, because a lot of you bought the structure deck, you got the cards, you played the deck when it was tier one, they nerfed balance, and the deck fell off completely. So I'm encouraging you to try them again within the meta we are in. They're not that bad, but they're not top, top tier. They are playable, they are fun. They are really susceptible to being disrupted, but if you go first, then you'll very likely win. If you go first, you win. If you wanna play some back row removal, go ahead and do so. Some people are playing Parallel Twister. Parallel Twister with a field spell could be a good way to get rid of the back row or get rid of a bad monster. So you'll have the light barrier field spell, then boom, send it to the grave, send their monster to the grave or send their back row to the grave, you're good. Now, what is the good turn one play if you're going first? You are either going to want to open up Merlin or your Madrat. What does Merlin do? It summons Madrat. So let's start with Madrat after summoning it with Merlin. Madrat with an equip card is going to summon a Boars. Boars will then get the equip card, then it will reveal three cards from your deck. You're going to reveal Trap, Trap, Gwen. Then one of them go to your hand. Let's say the Trap goes to your hand, then you have the Gwen in the grave and the other Trap in the grave. Then you're going to equip the Gwen from the hand of the grave onto your Madrat. Now Madrat's level 5 while equipped. The Boars is still equipped and it's level 5. Then you could perform a rank 5 exceed into Artorgus. Artorgus will equip any amount of equip cards in the graveyard onto itself. Or if you have Merlin in the grave, you don't exceed. You leave them up on the field. Then you use the Merlin quick effect to exceed during your opponent's turn to make your Artorgus. If you have Merlin in the graveyard or a Glory of the Noble Knights, you're going to use the trap during your opponent's turn to summon a Dristan. Once Dristan is on the field or in response to activating to summon the Dristan onto the field, you could chain the Merlin to exceed your Madrat, your Boars, to make the Artorgus, the equip cards fall off, and then when they fall off, they will activate to equip onto the Dristan, at least one of them. Then the Dristan will activate while equipped to destroy a face-up card on the field. Otherwise, you just summon the Dristan and then activate the Glory of the Noble Knights to equip an equip card from the deck onto the Dristan, and that's another way. So through the Glory or the Merlin and the Trap in the Grave, the Dristan's out, you are disrupting, and you are great. If the Artorgus is destroyed and sent to the graveyard, you could summon a Noble Knight back on the field. Otherwise, you could detach a material to destroy a monster on the field. You can make the Rank 4 Aegis, which could destroy back row, or you make the Cussonine. This will return up to two cards on the field back to the hand. And then if destroyed by battle or card effect, it will activate in the grave to equip as an exceed material onto an Artorgus that is summoned from your extra deck. I love this deck. I just really dislike being disrupted if they have back row. Otherwise, if they don't have back row that messes up your first summon or you go first, the deck is still absolutely nuts. But we need to continue to work on how do we get rid of the back row while also consistently having a Madrat or Merlin plus an equip card plus get rid of their back row. Love the deck. The deck is so fun. I'm happy to whip out the Noble Nuts again, and you will too. What? Wait, what? You're not... This is not a Blue Eyes deck. But it is. I summon a monster. <laughs> it's not what it is. Okay. Join me. Special summon. Brothers in arms. Cussonine return the Come on out. Return the lady back to the extra. Fortune lady. Yup. 
Fortune Lady's gotta go back. Fortune Lady's gotta go back. Let's go. Let me read the cutscene again. You could detach any number of materials to not read the card. Thank you. Merlin. Madroit. Here I go. I special summon a monster. If I equip. From my hand, I activate an equipment. Get equipping. Activate. Alright. I special summon a monster. Destroy. I activate an equip spell. Equip. My monster's effect activates. Destroy. Kastanin. Kastanin. All right. I exceed summon a monster. My monster's effect activates. Detach. Return. From my hand, I activate an equip spell. 2500. Let's go. Toggle on, check for any quick plays. I draw. Nothing quick. Nothing. I activate my monsters effect. Ancients. Add blue. If we are destroyed by battle, then we could special summon. Ooh, you got no oh no, he's got something. Yes. Focus. Palmerization. Oh boy. Double blue eyes. Twinning is winning. Twin for the win. Twin for the win. So we get destroyed by battle on purpose. What could really do here? Activate. Exactly what I was waiting for. We just have to be destroyed by battle on purpose. 2200 in D. All right. I exceed summon a monster. Now's my chance. My just equip Galton. Do not equip the Destiny. Do not equip the Destiny. I'll blow you away. Activate. My my Dristin. I special summon a monster. Let's go. Let's go. Get equipping. I activate Arf to pop that set. Keck W May. Wipe the fool. Holy moly. How are you fools not playing this deck? If I activate this, can I not attack for some reason? Let's go Excalibur for game. Excal for game. He's not, wait, well, he's got bacon. Where'd that bacon come from? Where did the bacon come from, mate? What the? Okay, we're gonna win without that. My monster's effect activates. Return, return, return. We can't attack with this. Oh my Jesus. It's okay, we're playing on our food. Galton, I we are, we can just exceed with this one ever. We can't even attack with the brothers. Should have summoned the Madrat. What you got? Let's go. Attack the Merlin, then get negated by Bacon. It's my turn. No. I draw. Did not fall for it. Got him. I've had enough. Is your time to let up? Got him. I, I 
Pop him. Got him. Let's go. I attack your life points directly. I need force him to use bacon. Why would I force him to use bacon when I have a Merlin that could be used when he does something that could do something to me? Why restrict my options? Why take the ability to exceed away for a bacon? You put too much power into the bacon. The bacon is not that good. You're literally trading bacon for a free exceed. All right. Equip. Gain. Here we go. Activate, destroy, equip. Gain. Look at that life. One, two, three. And if you don't want a top tier deck, then what you want to do is, I'll tell you in a second. Artargus. Target, target. Boost. Toggle on. I'll tell you after the duel. If you don't want to talk to your deck, I have other really good deck recommendations, but we got to focus. All right, so we're going to check the hourglass on our opponent's turn. He's got no quick plays, nothing. We good. Come on out. <sighs> oh! Wait, you hit the wrong card. Bro. What the hell? We're going to pop them. We're going to pop them. We are going to pop them. We are popping. Oh, this is going to be great. This is going to be glorious. This is it. This is it. If you're already struggling with one yes. Enemy, how will you fare against more? Elegant egotist. Swoop in, harpy lady. Spell, harpy harpy lady. <sighs> Do we wait for the cyber slash? Do we wait? Now's my chance. My trap activates. Dristin. Now's the time. Calburn equip. I acti I expected you. Activate. My monster's effect activate. Destroy mate. You have another? You have another? Double egotist? Double ego? Whoa! Bro! Chill! Chill! That's right, you end your turn. Trash. Harpy trash. What do we have in the graveyard that's activatable? We got this, we got that. Let's activate, let's detach. Evate. Detach to summon. We want to summon a boar from the deck, probably. Pop. Arf. Get Arfid. We Arfid. We poppin'. Woo! Karma! Cut! You! What? Madrat. Do we have another Madrat in the deck? We have a Madrat in the deck. Merlin! For the win! I'm counting on you. That is what I'm talking about. My trap activates. Boys! I'm counting on you. He's gonna surrender, so I just gotta do real quick to show you the plays. Good attack, attack with the other Merlin. He still surrenders before we do it like a fool. Let's go. So we don't have the guaranteed. 
Not guaranteed. It is a 66% chance we win. Straight up. 66. I'm counting on you. Do you feel good about a 66? Let's go. Activate some of the boars. Pop it, activate it, equip it. I'm going to tell you the 66. I'm going to tell you when. I'm revealing a Gwen, a trap, and a spell. If the spell or the Gwen go to the graveyard, we win. Or go to our hand. Has to go to the hand. Okay? The Gwen or the spell have to go to our hand. If the trap goes to our hand, we're going to lose. That's a 66, not a 33. Okay? 66. Booyah! Let's go. We're going to win now. It's over. It's actually over. I think we could set this. We can Gwenifer. Maybe we set both. We set both, huh? Maybe the Gwenifer. So the Gwenifer, chill. Chill, chill, chill. Gwenifer, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Equip. Yeah, we'll have this. This is good. We can't lose. We actually can't lose. Lost your nerve. Lost your nerve, little Yugi. I have detached from you. No longer can you hold me prisoner, you fool. You got a duel on your own. He's got a quick play. He's got something quick. Here comes my best shot. Oh. Oh, shoot. Okay. You think he's got MST? Ooh, that would actually be bad for us. <laughs> he's got MST. He couldn't negate our exceed. You think he's got Chalice? I'm freaking out now. I'm freaking out now. We gotta make our play. Activate this. Chalice, book, MST. I think he would have used MST if he had it, right? I mean, if he's smart, he would hold on to it, actually. <sighs> Grab. Madroid. If he doesn't change the Merlin. He's not chaining. Now, He's not chaining. My trap activates. Oh, let's go. <laughs> Dristed. I'm counting on you. I special summon a monster. Here I go. I exceed. Chalice. <laughs> Chalice. Exactly what I was waiting for. My Don't target the Galatin. I mean, it really doesn't matter. We target the Galatin and we activate the Galatin to equip onto the Dristin. Come on. Oh. Take out the guy, all right? Wipe it! From my hand, I Chalice! No! Okay. How are you going to win, though? How, you, how are you going to win, though? How are you going to win? How are you going to do it? How? How? In what world do you win? Oh, uh, what? Bro, if you pierce my Drist in, I'm going to be pissed. What? Who the heck plays Spiral Spear Strike? Are you kidding me? You'll never break for my life, you fool. This'll work. I attack Big Pierce. My monster's effect activates. Ugh. 
It will not be coming. It's my, my turn. turn. Woo! I draw a card. Of the trap. Grave. Let's my detach the right card. If you detach the wrong one, you're screwed. What do we have in the graveyard already? I think we want to summon a boar, so we're going to detach the Madrat. Wipe it. Now's my chance. <laughs> I'm protected, my you fool. Let's go. Got him. Isn't that a GG? Isn't that a GG? There's like no way. There's no way. There's no way we could lose. Summon a Dristin. Holy moly. Trap, activate, get equip of eight. Let's go. Attack. Just like that. We ain't never coming back. Let's go. Now is the time. I special play time is over. My monster attacks your right. I lost. Merlin exceed they always surrender before I Merlin. I can't freaking believe it. Be free. Free at last from Yugi.